Spring has come and my alternator tweets with birds. Hi. In this video I will replace bearings in this Bosch alternator. It was pulled out of Volvo 940. It is running strong but chirps loudly. Some penetrating oil to ease the removal of this big nut. Hopefully, an impact driver will handle this task. Oh, it was easy. Fishing out the washer. Removing the pulley. Oh, I didn't expect that. No effort required. To crack it open, I will need to remove four bolts. But before this, I have to remove the voltage regulator with brushes. The regulator is under this black cover. Removing all connectors. And three small screws. Now I must pop up those three clips while prying it up with a screwdriver. The regulator with the brushes riding on the slip rings. Two bolts to remove the regulator. It is stuck. Come on. Let go. Short brushes, but still not bad. After 30 years of working hard every day. The time has come for main bolts. One is stuck. I will cut a groove for a flathead screwdriver. Oh, not a chance. I will move it to a vise and turn the screwdriver with this wrench. This screwdriver shaft is designed for this. All four bolts are out. I will tap it to loosen 30 years old bond. Separating two halves of the casing. I must pay attention and not damage widings of the stator. And it finally came apart. Grease came out of the bearing and attracted dirt and dust. The bottom slip ring grooved badly. Before I proceed any further, I will check if I have the right replacement bearing. I hate to take things apart and wait days or weeks for the right part to come 
while all the pieces are lying around. Yep, I have the right one. I cannot undo those four bolts in the front cover. They hold a backing plate for the bearing. One went with the impact gun. Three are ruined. I drill a pilot hole, not too deep. The bolt diameter. And now I will drill the same size just to pop up the bolt head. The bolts are not holding anymore. The plate came loose. The big nut goes on the shaft to protect threads. Looks like I have to move with it to a shop press. This can be dangerous. If the bearing is stuck, the aluminum cover can cave in and crack. That would be game over. I cannot push it all the way out because the rotor core is resting on the press now. A rubber mallet will finish the job. This bearing doesn't look bad, but since I'm here, I will replace both. Once again, checking if I have the right replacement. I'm good. Now removing drilled bolts. Lubrication for the shaft. Bearing puller. Everything is set up. It popped. It is moving. And it is loose now. I will clean gently the shaft. It looks more like a baked oil than rust. Time for the other side. Must remove the bearing and the slip ring. Something is moving, but for now I have to remove only the bearing. You will see why shortly. Nasty. 
Now the slip ring. I start with disconnecting rotor wires from the metal connectors at the base. The wires are spot welded and can be easily removed with a small screwdriver. One is ready. The two are undone. I make a stand for it and now we'll check which ring connects where. I make a mark on which side is the bottom ring connected. And mark the side of the bottom ring connection on the new slip ring. This thing is brittle. I will remove it in pieces. Cutting connectors. Well, it is not easy this way. I will grab it with the vise and lift the rotor. Gone. The rest of it will be cracked with a chisel. I have to be extremely careful with the wires. Cleaning the shaft. Cleaning the mess. This long socket is big and long enough not to damage the shaft. It is also tiny enough to drive the inner ring of the bearing while pushing it onto the shaft. We must push on the inner race of the bearing, pressing it on a shaft. Pressing the bearing into the housing, we must not press on the inner race. Press the outer bearing ring in this case. Driving in the front bearing, I will rest the rotor on something. I have to pay attention to the wire channels protruding here. If I rest it on something with a large diameter, I may flatten those and possibly shorten the wires to the core. To avoid this, I will rest the rotor on this spark plug socket, after removing a rubber insert. The socket will rest on the core and miss the wires and its protective channels. I found replacement bolts for the ones I drilled out. Front cover and new bearing. Little cleanup. The bearing is in. If I had to press it in, I could use the old bearing and press it on the outer race. The plate. Bolts.
the rotor goes into the press. The cover. It is in and it is not tight. The washer. It has two different sides. The smooth side goes up. This one sits tight. Now the slip ring. I set it the way I marked it before. I drive it to the grooves gently. When it sits on the shaft, I drive it in with the rubber mallet. Once again, I must pay attention to the wires. There are special channels to house them. You can see it better on the new part. Wires in the channels and I drive it to the end. Soldering wires to the connectors. Done. Checking continuity and four shorts to the core. I use liquid electric tape to protect wires. The time has come for the rear bearing. The shaft is short here, so I will drive it with a hammer. Remember, shaft calls for the inner race pressing. Looks good. The rear bearing sits in this plastic ring. The back cover has three grooves. The tab on the plastic ring goes in one of those. And I put it together. It is a good idea to make alignment marks before separating two parts. I didn't, but I know how it comes together. Four bolts. Brushes touch the right rings. And now the brushes. I simply crush them with a drill bit.
one spring out. And the second. Quick cleanup. Now I drill out the old solder. And solder in the new brush. Getting ready the second brush. The spring goes on the wire. Then I fish it through. Pulling the wire and loading the spring and the brush. Bending connector to keep it in place and cutting the fish through wire. Soldering. Cleaning connection points. And the regulator goes in its place. The cover goes back on. Pressing it on and snapping the clips. Small screws. connectors pulley washer nut making an impact Done.